Well, a few weeks ago, we had our extension livestock entomologist, Justin Talley on talking about some insects that are impacting cattle. But uh, Justin, you know, this is about the time of year where producers need to start thinking about another insect that's impacting cattle, lice. Yeah, definitely so. When we think about the fall time period, sometimes you don't see the impacts of lice on cattle until later on in the winter and early spring. But this is actually the time when you really need to think about treating your cattle, especially if you have those that are always chronically infested with lice. So like, let's just dive into it. Uh, treatment, what, what can producers do? Yeah, there's several treatments, but most of them are pour-on type treatments. Uh, there's several out there that have dual action products or do, what we call dual action active ingredients. Uh, those work really well because you usually don't have to apply those more than once. Uh, so it's usually a permethrin, diflobenzeron, which impacts the eggs. And so what's important about any kind of control product is that if you either spray your animals or use a pour-on, uh, because of the lice life cycle, most of those initial treatments will control the infestation, like what we call the adults and nymphs on the animals, but it does nothing for the egg stage, whereas these dual action products will control both the egg stage and the adults. Um, and it's not to say one is better than the other, it's just about how you work your animals. If you have no problem bringing your animals up and treating them uh, twice, that's the best route because we can look at those animals and know that the initial treatment knocks off that initial population, but then that second treatment takes care of that any uh, uh, lice emerging from the eggs. It, you know, like, you know, shifting outside of cattle, do they also, is this something that producers need to think about, like sheep sheep and goat producers as well? Just it really livestock in general in Oklahoma. Yeah, so when we think about livestock in general, uh, lice are very species specific. So the lice that get on cattle are only on cattle. The, uh, the lice that get on horses are usually only on horses. Now, sheep and goats overlap because we see a lot of overlap with those two species, but uh, if, uh, if you want to think about this, lice are very important in how they impact goat production. Uh, most of the lice that can get on goats can infest the goats in different ways. Uh, and likewise, on, on cattle, we have a kind of a multi, multiple species that can get on uh, different livestock. Uh, and then some of those species are what we call sucking lice and others are chewing louse. Most of the problems we see in cattle here in Oklahoma are chewing louse uh, and they can impact the cattle somewhat differently than sucking lice. Well, you know, you mentioned impacts. So what are some of the, what are the impacts that both of those types of lice can have on our livestock? Yeah, so when you think about livestock, if you think about uh, beef in particular, the, the biggest impact is just the uh, amount of energy they have to de expend dealing with that stress. stress. And so when you think about the stress to the animals, but there's also what we call those hidden costs. If you've ever driven down a fence line in uh, anywhere from December through March, and you see these balls of hair on the fence, that's, those are animals rubbing from lice. And so some of the hidden costs of how the fence repairs you have to do because of the, of the animals rubbing, there's also some things that uh, on the equine side, they can cause uh, what we call dermatitis. And so in, in certain equine species or breeds uh, can be more susceptible to lice infestation than others. And then goats and in particular sheep, there can, the, depending on the species, it can severely impact them, cause lesions, cause secondary infections. But uh, overall, when we think about uh, lice, and then li of course lice can get into poultry as well. So we're, we're it's kind of all encompassing, but they impact all of our livestock species. Alrighty, thanks Justin. Dr. Justin Talley, livestock entomologist here at Oklahoma State University.